worship those who have it above them. And, and that's what it is. When you look at Bush and people on a podium or you look at a Bilderberg Group meeting photo or video, they are all looking at each other lustfully. And then Bill Clinton, even uh, in, in front of George Bush Sr., will, in front of everyone, not saying why he's doing it, he will just bow to him. And, and, yeah. and then they all just throw, yes, power, yes. And they love the power of children dying of cancer. They love the power of killing the troops. And they love the fact that the police worship them while they're giving their cancer virus injections. They just love it. Oh, look at them loving me while I kill them. It's so sick. Look at them worshiping us as we kill them. Look at the public loving us after. I mean, Bush, if you watch him on the pile with the bullhorn, he's just getting this sick, evil look. And you can just see him just loving the firemen, crying and worshiping him. He's thinking, look at these scumbag bastards. Oh, I Just look at how I've killed a bunch of them. And they love it. I mean, he's feeding right there. Yes. Oh, there's no doubt. I mean, that, that statement that Brzezinski made to one of the major uh, magazines in an interview, when he was, ever, he was asked if the public would ever rebel, and he said, the public, he says, what do I think of the public? He says, well, he says, you can beat them, you can starve them to death, and he says, what do they do? They just turn around and eat their dead. He, he despised the common public, despised them with a hatred. Well, that's like uh, in the book, Kiss the Boys Goodbye, I mean, Kissinger wrote himself, the military are dumb, pathetic animals to be used up as cannon fodder. And they just yes, go, yes, sir, bomb murder bomb. me, kill America, I love it. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Yep. That, that's, that's the name of the game in the psychopath's world. And that's why they have these amazing, uh, this, the, this incredible protection that occasionally lets them down and lets out their sexual um, strangeness that they all have because they are all sadomasochistic in every way in, in the bedroom as well. You know, like, I don't like pain, and to me that's bizarre and weird, but they love being humiliated. I mean, I don't want to get into what they do, but it's admitted with Hitler, and, and, and they're always catching British lords having the same thing done. Yep. And oh, yeah. they love to be beaten, they love to be have crap smeared all over them. And, that's, and they're going to do that to us, folks. See, that's their love for us, is brutalizing us and crapping on us. Yes, yes. And, uh, you know, even David Suzuki, who was one of the leaders and proponents, he said on national television in Canada, we've got to kill off, I think it was 140,000 a day to save the world. The guy who loves fur little animals, but who is a geneticist who works for the World, world Wildlife Fund and the United Nations. In one of his early lectures, he says, we're all just fruit flies. And he was into breeding fruit flies. He says, that's all people are. They're fruit flies. Well, here's the point I want to get your take on. We're going to break and take calls. We're actually going to skip this break for InfoWars.com listeners um, because it's too important. I keep making a big deal out of this, and it's in my film Endgame because it is a big deal. It's the key. Two different newspapers reported, and I've been at similar events. When they talk about, when Dr. Um, Eric Pianca talked about we've got to kill 90% of the public, my, my wife and my family, we're all ready to die, he projected a giant PowerPoint of skulls with a red filter, and the newspapers described raptured three-minute standing ovations. Every time he said, kill everybody, 95% standing ovations, and that's the point. And they all, I mean, you go look in every case. I mean, I've had his graduate students who are now doctors send me threatening emails, and I check their MySpace, I check their professional pages. They're all in bioweapons or bioweapons research. Yeah. And now they've moved this cult of killers into the new 36 level 4 bioweapons laboratories that are all based in major cities. Mm -hmm. And they're all just, yes, we're going to murder you. It's beautiful for Earth. Ah, my family. I'm ready to take the bioweapons home and release it on my family first. And then it's like, oh, you're so beautiful how you're going to die. Oh, it's, and, and, I mean, and then they catch PETA. And I reported this years before it came out because I know somebody was in it. Goes and gets dogs from the pound, and then they sit in there eating hamburgers and rolling around on tables, injecting dogs and cats with, with poison, killing them. I told you that. Okay, mm -hmm. folks, and then it came out in the news. And, I mean, they, they're, they're psychos. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Psycho killers run it all. Yeah. Oh, even Skinner, you, you, this, this videotapes up with Skinner and others actually dropping fairly newborn babies from a, a, foot or a foot and a half high to see how they react when they hit the, a table. I mean, the, that, that's what they are. These people are utter psychopaths, and we better get to understand that quickly, very quickly. And, and the whole world is being built into an amusement park for the elite to cram us through meat grinders, slit throats, rape children, bioweapon, because they think 
death and piles of maggot-covered bodies are beautiful. I mean, you, you, John Wayne Gacy, the rest of them, they loved maggots. They loved rotten flesh. They loved torturing people. And you're going to find out, folks, that's who runs it. Troops, when you're dying from the shots they give you, remember, they're, they're enjoying killing you. And they get off on the fact the public never catch on to it. See, that's the big joke amongst them. They, they, they get off on the fact that the public go along with everything that they want us to go along with. We must acquiesce to every part of their plan, and we do it by, by silence and acceptance. And they <sighs> laugh at us for doing so as dumb animals. I know, yeah. and I just can't stand it. God, I can't stand it, Alan. I mean, you, I, mean I know you say it's casualties of war, got to move on, but I can't believe a bunch of spindly-necked, pot-bellied pedophiles who love dead bodies and love torture and black uniforms run the planet. Yes. I mean, I just can't believe what humanity could do if they weren't holding us back. That's just it. That's just, and, and even some of those involved, like Lenin, who was well trained by the big bankers to do his role, who said communism is the new, it was on the last 70 years, and he was right on. Uh, he said uh, th that um, there are a thousand directions society could go in, human society, but they must be, not be allowed to know that. They must think the one they're born into, the system they're born into, is the only natural one that could have evolved. So we're not supposed to realize that, look at the industry of man, uh, look at all the waste of, of, of tax money and all their big projects which enslave us through technology and research and development. If that had gone into all the right causes, we, we truly could have one incredible world here and we wouldn't have all the ills that we have today caused by these psychopaths who run us today. And they always drill into us. It's evolution. It's set. You don't have free will. No, it's because they know you have free will, and they don't want you taking hold of real human destiny. We're going to keep talking right now. On the average, Alan, American four minutes. You've got the floor to talk about whatever you want. We're going to come back and take calls. Well, you know, if you ever study pedophilia, Pedophiles, for instance, are, again, sadomasochists, but generally, generally sadists. And when they're questioned, when they're caught, they will often say that the child wanted this to happen. No matter how grotesque the actions were, they'll blame the victim. And that's standard, what the abuser does to the victim. They blame the victim for what happened, including for themselves getting caught. And they'll hate the victim for that. Now, they've created a system of abuse in the world. This is an abusive system, and the public are trained to go back to the abuser for help when the problems brought on by the abuser affect them. That's how the system is. The public are trained to cry, you must help us do something, and the abuser smiles and grins and says, well, okay, we'll see what we can do, but it's going to cost you. And we better get that through our heads. Stop going back to the abuser because they will not fix your problems. They have caused your problems. And we are simply doing exactly as they predicted we would do. We've got to understand the behavior patterns here in the mind of the, the sadomasochist psychopath who runs the planet. Or we're doomed. Acquiescence to everything is the plan. We acquiesce to all their demands. Look what's happening in airports and everywhere else in the world. We're watching the total destruction of freedom, all the rights that were fought for over many, many centuries have been taken away over the last few years under this absolute absurd notion of terrorism, and terrorism had nothing to do with it, until you realize to the elite, we are all the terrorists, you see. Any individual with a thinking mind who understands what's going on is a terrorist. Any person who says, I'm not going along with this agenda of genocide is a terrorist. We're all terrorists. If you, have, if you want to get married and have children and pick your own mates, you are a terrorist. That's not to be allowed in the near future. The young children at school are being taught right now to even volunteer themselves for sterility to save the world. And there's even some come forward to do that. I said that would happen 16, 17 years ago. It's happening. When you read their agenda, which they publish copiously, you know what they're going to do next. It's quite simple. But you've got to get off that mainstream television, away from the talking professional liars that, that, that get, are well paid to lie to you, and start thinking for yourself and talking to each other.
when television first came in, it didn't just separate people from talking within the community. It stopped everyone in the household from talking to each other. Well, look, look where you said it. You said it at the center of the living room. Everybody's focused on it. It becomes the center of daily life. Absolutely. And it destroyed... Uh, you know, in Britain, there was a campaign. In Britain, most of the bars, they were run by uh, two or three big chains. Uh, and uh, people used to go into the bar. That was a community place where everyone talked. And, and it doesn't matter who you are, a stranger could walk in and you can ground everyone and you, you go into conversations on everything. Now you go in a bar and they all want to watch TV. Yeah, but I can remember when they put them in and, and it, it came in all at once. Uh, and, and every pub at the same time, giant televisions, the, the, the volume was up so loud, it was all sport, you couldn't hear yourself talking. That was a deliberate attempt by those who ran the system to stop all conversation and communication between people in communities. And it worked.